the center of Moscow, not far from the Kremlin, people have laid candles in the upmarket Prechistenka Street, where two Russians were gunned down in broad daylight. Human rights lawyer Stanislav Markelov and journalist Anastasia Barbarova. It's so bitter and so sad. Political murders like this are no longer rare here. So many people have been killed already. I see lots of police officers here after the event, but where were they when the murder was committed? The mood is somber at Novaya Gazeta, where Anastasia Babarova used to work. Stanislav Markelov had represented the newspaper in court. Novaya Gazeta reports on corruption and abuse of power, human rights violations in Chechnya and xenophobia. Their reporters live dangerously. No other Russian newspaper has suffered so many deaths. The best-known victim was Anna Polikovskaya. We're all very depressed right now. It's difficult to get motivated. But we all know that we must carry on, and we will carry on. The journalists complain about the climate of lawlessness prevailing in Russia. Although it's been two years since the attack, the Politkovskaya murder trial has only just begun. In the dock, there are just a few alleged accomplices. The presumed killer has disappeared. Officially, nothing is known about those behind her death. Oleg Panfilov documents cases like these. Six journalists have died in Russia since the beginning of last year. Panfilov holds the Kremlin partly responsible. Russia belongs to the Council of Europe and other international organizations. The government is obliged to investigate human rights violations. The Constitution says the state should protect its citizens, but it doesn't. While he was president, Vladimir Putin promised a dictatorship of law. His successor, Dmitry Medvedev, has spoken out for the rule of law and press freedom, but these have proved empty words. The Kremlin has remained silent over the latest murders. Neither the state prosecutor nor the government's human rights representative would agree to appear on camera. Three months ago, in Himki, a Moscow suburb, journalist Mikhail Beketov was beaten almost to death. His colleague, Anatoly Yurov, is certain that the attack was planned. He'd almost reached the door to his home. His keys were in his hand. He was beaten with a stick. Beketov had written about the criminal practices of local politicians and protested the construction of a highway that required the clearing of woodland. Anatoly Yurov had supported his efforts Although he's already been threatened and attacked, Yurov plans to carry on. You know, there's one important question. Are you a slave or free? We've always behaved according to that. We're not slaves, so we'll say what we need to. The most important thing in life is that you can't accuse yourself of doing nothing. Anastasia Babarova also bravely stood up for her convictions. As a journalist, she wanted to change Russia, but she was killed in broad daylight on an open street in central Moscow.